continuing to simplify, 162 is 2 times 81. 81 is 9 times 9. And again, I know that we can break down 9 times 9 quicker, but we already have 2 of the same value. So we don't really need to write 3 times 3 and 3 times 3 again. We can stick with our 9 times 9. 2 of the same value to take out 1. So we can take out 1, 9. And we have a single 2. 180. When we simplify the square root of 180, we're going to use 18 times 10. That is not your only choice. 18 is 9 times 2. And 9 is 3 times 3. 10 is 2 times 5. And I need to write this a little bit uh, more streamlined. So 180 is 3 times 3 times 2 times 2 times 5. And what we need is we need 2 of the same value to take out 1. 2 of the same value to take out 1. And then we still have that single square root of 5. But we were able to take out a 3. We were able to take out a 2. So to finish, we're going to multiply. 3 times 2 is 6. Square root of 5. When we look at problem number 6, the square root of 50 divided by 2, let's just simplify the square root of 50, and then we can deal with the fraction part of it. 50 is 5 times 10. It's 25 times 2. It does not matter what you pick because you're looking for the prime numbers. And 5 times 5 times 2 is what the square root of 50, or 5 times 5 times 2 is 50. We're taking the square root, and we want 2 of the same to take out 1. So we're going to take out a 5. And then we still have the single 2. And then finally, we're divided by 2. We can't do anything else to that problem. Nothing simplifies.